My name is Bruno Long and I'm an action sports freelance photographer based out of Revelstoke, British Columbia. Chasing light is something that I spend a lot of time doing and thinking about. Sometimes you can plan way ahead and other times it's these fleeting moments of light that you can see them coming and you try to anticipate them, but sometimes they're just happening and you have to react in the moment. I'm lucky enough to have been approached by Hoshi Yoshida. Hoshi decided that he wanted to make some high quality books and have that permanence of, of print. When you have a book printed on high quality paper with, with a really good ink, really makes a difference for the experience of the viewer. And uh, I think that with these Codex books, that's really what Hoshi was going for. What I really enjoy most, I think, when I'm out there shooting is light and shadow contrasting very strongly. Cool, either leading lines or repeating patterns. Shapes that you don't normally see maybe in the, in the mountains or that only last for a few minutes. Getting some of these images way up in the mountains or deep into the backcountry, you can't just get those easily from your car or from a chairlift. You have to get out into those places. So immersing yourself into these sports like skiing and mountain biking, you kind of have to do the sports as well. So thankfully enough, I've had the opportunity to go deep into the mountains with uh, a lot of great partners. It really gets me into spots that maybe other photographers wouldn't so that I can capture moments that other photographers wouldn't as well. One of my favorite sets of images in the book is the cover of one of the books. It's a shot of my friend Chris Rubens, who's a professional skier, and he's making a big turn in front of this huge ice wave. There's an accompanying image that goes with it where he's holding up a piece of ice, and he's, he's kind of looking through the piece of ice, and you can see one of his eyes through it. Those two together really remind me of that day, and, and it's kind of burned into my brain as, as uh, one of my favorite days out skiing with uh, a guy that I've spent countless days in the backcountry with. There's another image in this book of uh, my friend Dave Treadway, and it was from a, a, a couple years ago in Golden, BC. We were on a, a commercial shoot and the shoot was kind of over and all of a sudden Dave was, wanted to go and, and get one more shot. We found this really beautiful little spot and there was this big column of uh, diamond dust is what they call it. Um, I like to call them sparkle tornadoes. They're kind of like a thing that happens a lot in, uh, in British Columbia, especially in Revelstoke and Golden. And um, I've got this really amazing image of Dave making a turn right in front of the, the dust. I had no idea that that would be the last time that Dave and I would ever shoot any photos together because just later on in that winter, he ended up um, passing away. And he was, a, he was a great ski partner and friend of mine that having that image, that's for me, that's like a way more important thing to have in my in my life now and it's one of the few images that uh, I, I would like print of my own to have in my own wall. One of the things I try to convey in my images is uh, a lot of the time a sense of scale uh, with these beautiful landscapes that we get to travel to. You always want to make sure that you are showing the landscape that we're in but you somehow have to incorporate a, a rider or a skier into there and so Working with the, the athlete and trying to figure out a way that they can show off their style while also showing off the background is, uh, is something that's really important to me. And you also want to try and have a, a sense of relatability for people. So sometimes it might just be someone riding down a piece of single track or making a big ski turn in, in a beautiful landscape. And, and you want people to, to look at those images and go, you know, I can picture myself in that spot. When people open this book and, and have them on their walls and are, are flipping the pages every day or every few days. I'm kind of hoping that they're just inspired to get out into nature on their own and, and to try and experience landscapes and, and the backcountry uh, on their own because for me it's a super important part of my life that uh, I think that more people should be doing. So. I hope that when they open these books and they see these beautiful landscapes, it, it kind of inspires them to not only just go to the mountains at home or the trails at home or the forests at home, but to, to travel around the world and, and to, uh, 
see the rest of our planet because there's so many beautiful places that we can all experience. You just have to get out there and see them for yourself.